हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड टू सप्लाई एमीटर बायास इन टू सप्लाई एमीटर बायास द पॉजिटिव सप्लाई इज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस कलेक्टर टर्मिनल सिमिलरली ए नेगेटिव सप्लाई विल बी कनेक्टेड एट द एमीटर टर्मिनल hence it is known as two supply emitter bias so when negative supply is connected here so positive of that supply will be connected to ground which will form a loop here at the base terminal here the value of rb will be very small so we can say the value of rb is very small if the value of rb is very small then we can say vb will be approximately equal to 0 volts so the voltage across the base terminal will be approximately equal to 0 since rb is very small we know vbe can be written as vb minus ve since vb is equal to 0 we can write ve is equal to minus vbe so vbe we know the value will be 0.7 that's why ve will be equal to minus 0.7 volts from the circuit we can write vc is equal to vcc minus ic rc so we can write vc is equal to vcc minus ic rc and we can write vce is equal to vc minus ve so if we substitute the value of vc in this equation we can write vce is equal to vcc minus ic rc minus ve so here ve is minus vbe therefore we can write vce is equal to vcc minus ic rc plus vbe so if we apply kvl for the input side we can write vee minus ib rb minus vbe minus ie re is equal to 0 so if we apply kvl to input side so we can write vee minus ib rb minus vbe minus ie re is equal to 0 so we can write above expression as vee is equal to ib rb plus vbe plus ie re we know ie is approximately equal to ic so we can replace this term with ic and ib is equal to ic divided by beta so we can replace ib with ic divided by beta if we take vbe towards left hand side of the equation we can write vee minus vbe is equal to ic divided by beta rb plus ic into re so we can write above equation as vee minus vbe will be equal to if we take ic as common we can write this as rb divided by beta plus re therefore we can write the current ic is equal to vee minus vbe divided by rb divided by beta plus re so this is the expression for the current ic which can be used for finding the current ie also because ic is approximately equal to ie in the above expression if re is very much greater than rb divided by beta therefore we can write the expression of current ic is equal to 
VEE minus VBE divided by RE. Now let us see how to find the DC load line for two supply emitter bias. Similar to DC load line of other biasing, in X axis we will take VCE, in Y axis we will take IC and at cutoff region we will take some maximum point for output voltage and we will take a maximum point at saturation region for output current. So these two values has to be found. So since we are having two supply, we can say point B can be written as VCC plus VEE and point A can be written as VCC plus VEE divided by RC plus RB. Once we find these two values, we can draw a straight line which is known as the DC load line. So if you draw the straight line between these two points, it is DC load line. At exactly center of this DC load line, we can mark the Q point and if we draw the line vertical and horizontal, we will get VCE at Q point and IC at Q point. This is about two supply emitter bias. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.